Food time, thinking of baking and you're more likely to think of Nana at home uh, in her apron than perhaps a burly bloke uh, bent over the oven. But the reality is more Kiwi blokes are donning their aprons than ever before. Joining us now to show us that uh, baking can be something for blokes is Sean Armstrong from the Loaf Bakery here in Auckland. Morning, Sean. Morning, Karen. So you're a baker by profession. Yep, certainly am. So tell me... There's an interesting little division here because women tend to bake at home perhaps more than men, but there's more commercial men who do baking. Is that right? Yeah, I'd say there's more uh, blokes in the commercial sector. It's quite a hard industry to be involved in. It's, there's a lot of hours. I'm not saying that you know, ladies can't handle it, but sure. it's uh, definitely more the case. There's more. But more and more men, do you think, are starting to get into uh, perhaps a little bit of baking at home as well, making foods oh, yeah. and things? Yeah, I think, yeah, they are getting into it, and people are getting really passionate about it, which is the difference, you know, whereas before it was just a sort of a necessity, now people are really starting to get adventurous and, and try new things. And, you How know, get much science is there in bread? Because it's, there are so many different types. I mean, is it quite a technical process making bread? Well, yeah, it is, uh, to a degree. It is science, and it's all about percentages, but you do have a little bit of variance to play about and, and exper uh, experiment. Um, what do you like about it? I don't know, it's the natural side of it, it's yep. the in instant pleasure of you spend all this time creating something yep. and getting into it and then, and then you suddenly, get the satisfaction of yeah, it there it is in front of you and yeah. the smell and it's the... Now you're going to make a, um, you're going to make, what, what are we calling this, the man which... <laughs> no, you're calling it the no, man yeah, well, No, not me. <laughs> Someone wrote that. Yep. Look, I'm making, uh, I suppose, a bloke's version of a croque monsieur, which is a really flash uh, cheese and ham sandwich. Cheese toasty. Yep. Basically, yeah. <laughs> what I've done is I've got some uh, rosemary and rice sourdough that we make down at Life. So it's, the thing about the sourdough is it's stone baked, so it's all on stones and yep. it's just getting. What does that mean? Does that brilliant. mean the bread's denser or something, or does it? So. A traditional sourdough is made from a wild yeast. Now, wild yeast is present in the flour, so we make a levan. We don't add any brewer's yeast, and that's right. generally what plays havoc on people's tummies is uh -huh. the yeast. So this is a natural yeast through a fermentation process to get all sure, flesh. Yep, gotcha. So if you can grate some parmesan while we talk, it would probably yep. be a bit helpful. But because this is the man sandwich, I'm putting lots of ham. I'm using big amounts of cheese. And, and what, do you got, what sort of cheese you got there? So I've got some... <laughs> French brie. I just go into the shop and I say to the person behind the cheese counter, give me the ripest piece of brie you've got. And as you can Why see... Why is that? Just because it... Oh, it's just ready to go. It's full of <laughs> flavour. It's going to sort of be gooey, yeah, sticky yeah, yeah. and, you know, be just fantastic. Um, as much as you like, it's a... Uh, so you're, no you're doubling up on the cheese here. Oh, yeah. up on the cheese Yeah, here. then we've got a bit of Jarlsberg. Yeah which is uh, just one of my personal favourites. So I've got ham, yep. cheese or brie. And plenty of ham too. Yeah, a little bit more ham. It's yep. a man sandwich. It can't yep. be, you know, too light. And then <sighs> butter. Now butter. what I've done okay. is I've put butter on the outside. Yep. As you think, well, what's special about that? Mustard on the inside. What's special about that? Got our toasty machine here heating up. And what we do with this grated parmesan yep. you've got here... This is the, the piece de resistance. We're going to... Uh, You're going to roll it, roll it <laughs> in there. So Look we've at got that. triple cheese here. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. This is the, a triple the, cheese the, manage. Whack it in the old toasty over here. Yeah. And this is the trick. Because we've got this gigantic doorstop of a sandwich. Yeah. We're going to put it down, give it about mm, 20 or so seconds, and we're going to turn it off. Otherwise, what's going to happen is the outside's going to be incredibly dark, hard right. and crusty, and a bit cold in the middle. That's interesting. So how long will that take, do you think? Oh, three to four minutes. Three to four minutes. Yeah. So it's still a pretty quick sandwich. Yep. And the whole, whole idea of uh, using sourdough is, it's natural. Um, the sourdough we've got at Loaf is 11 years old. Yep. So we made it from a, a natural uh, starter. So we use grapes, flour and water 10 years ago and we feed it. So it's a bit like an animal, really. I take it away on holiday. What do you reckon, Petra? <laughs> this, is, this is a sandwich you'd be into as well? Oh, definitely, if it's triple cheese. Triple Humorously cheese. enough, I have had sourdough cultures in my fridge at times and I'm feeding them and feeding yep. them and I never made a sourdough loaf in my life. So I keep, <laughs> I know, I know. But I did put a loaf of bread in the bread maker this morning. Does that count? Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> not really, eh? All right, we're going to eat this sandwich. That is it for us uh, today, though. So thank you very much for watching Breakfast. Have a great long weekend. Oh, we will see you Tuesday. Yeah.